Well, Johnny, here I am in the listening room, and that's my tablet that I run title on, or rather, ruin running title. And uh, I'm going to make a little video for you on the wonders of Tidal. I'm going to switch to uh, the regular camera, or lens, rather. So here's the Tidal home screen. Boom. Home. Oops. Wait a minute. Yep. Oh, there's my home screen. Sorry. Doing, trying to do two things at once. Um, and we'll go to title and then I've got albums and new recommended masters tracks, you know, all this cool stuff. This is all pulling it off of title, but using rune. So I'm going to go into my library of albums and I'm going to get rid of this search criteria and then this is going to bring up the 491 albums that I have saved. Now most of those are saved from Tidal. So a lot of music so far that I've saved for ready access but now I'm ripping so I'm going to go into focus and then go into storage location and tap on my music folder my regular title library has 456 albums saved but the music folder is where my actual ripped music is and now you can see I have uh, 35 uh, CDs that I've ripped to my rune server and uh, a whole bunch of these I have already saved in my title library or my rune library rather, sorry, my rune library as title streaming CDs. So now I'm going back and forth between the ripped version and the streaming version. And um, streaming is every bit as good as the ripped CDs. And in some cases, a little better if it's uh, MQA, but not, not significantly. So, these are all my ripped uh, CDs. And uh, it takes about 10 minutes right now to rip a CD. And in fact, let me just show you my setup here. I'll go over here to my computer desk and get my coffee cup out of the way and that box on the bottom is my rune server and then on the top is a cheapo $25 CD ripper drive and I've got it plugged in and then that's all plugged straight into my network and uh, I just pop a disk into the server and it pops up on this screen which is my uh, screen for ripping uh, the disks and this is all done through the network so I just pull up a menu I pull up a browser window with the uh, the ripper app and it starts ripping the disk and tells me the progress but I'm not doing it with the computer. Well, I am only to use the internet. I could be using this, uh, doing this as uh, with a browser window on my tablet, but instead I'm using the computer. Um, but it's not going through the Mac. It's going straight over the network and being stored in this black box, my Sonic Transporter. And then over here, is my little micro rendu streamer that back there is taking the signal from the uh, Sonic Transporter Rune server, and uh, it's that's also connected via Ethernet. That's the power supply for it. So the power supply is bigger than the little streamer box, and then of course that's all feeding into my DAC preamp. So, back to the listening chair. And uh, 
This is a cheapo Kindle Fire tablet for 170 bucks or 150 bucks. Um, the previous generation of Rune only worked in portrait mode with the Apple iPad Pro, but they just came out with the new version of Rune 1.8, and now they've added portrait mode for tablets um, other than the MacBook Pro or the iPad Pro, which makes me extremely happy. So for 150 bucks, this is just an awesome little tablet for just using as the Rune remote. So I've got a record queued up here, and this is actually not a ripped disc. This is from the Rune library from pulling it from Tidal. So I'll just tap on my little icon here, and it pulls up the record firecracker by the Wayland Jennies. And then I can tap on, uh, you can see everything in blue is hyperlinked. So, okay, I want to tap on Wayland Jennies. And now it pulls up an overview on the Wayland Jennies where it tells me all about them. And I'll tap on that. And it tells me all about them and it's all hyperlinked. And I, then I can go and see their discography. Go in here, bada bing into their discography, their main albums. Um, I have that one ripped, but we'll go back to that one. Hello, take me back to that one, and that's the one that I've got queued up. And uh, then you can favorite your tracks, you can sort the tracks uh, in the order you want them to play in, or you can just hit play. And off we go. I held on for so long, a dusty point to its own. Things attached with glue, live and die and gone. Oops, sorry. June flowers are so bold, and the devil's paintbrush roll. The devil. Hit pause. And then if I want to go back to Rune or Title, I'll go into Title and Playlists. And then I've got all my own playlists that I've added. Um, my favorites. Oh. Anyway, this is all Title stuff. But it's all controlled through Rune. And the beauty of Rune is you can manage your entire library, songs, artists, tracks. I go to tracks. It's got all the tracks that I've favorited from. There's just too many. There's a million uh, because I've got 500 CDs in here. So we'll go back to albums. But I can sort by artists. And uh, this, again, this is back to the music uh, or the, the, the library of my ripped Discs, so we'll go into uh, John Prine's latest album, Tree of Forgiveness, and all the good liner notes um, back. Anyway, it's pretty amazing. Uh, all at your fingertips, instantaneous. Um, it's magic. Okay, talk to you later.